Um, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, it, sound, it sounded like maybe we got some of those issues figured out. And yeah, so it seems like that's those issues figured out, and we're gonna start soon. All right. You know, whenever whenever I see whenever I see uh, Lucas avatars, it always makes me scared. <laughs> it always it always gives it always gives me a sense of dread. It's got like that whole like <laughs> that whole pixelated. I you know I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the first time I've seen a person's avatar uh, correctly correlate to the character that they play, like one to one, both players at the same time. So you know that these players are most dedicated to these characters. Oh, for sure. Like that's that's always nice to see, like dedication. And actually, is this is this the second cloud back to back from St. John's? Um, I, I guess it is, isn't it? That's actually, that's that's beautiful. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Actually, no. I don't think it is. Actually, no, no, no. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Right. Yeah, this, the other the other one was Joker. The cloud was on the other team. So, um, but we're seeing another cloud in Lucas. And honestly, this matchup is. Definitely in Cloud's favor. Um, I know in the past I've seen Lucas say it's kind of even, but most of the time Cloud's range is just a little bit too much for Lucas, even though that Lucas can edge guard him pretty well, but it's like you need to get Cloud to that point. And already, uh, <laughs> uh it's uh, <laughs> I don't know what they were looking for there, to be honest. I, I, I wouldn't air dodge in that situation just because of that potential of buffering air dodge nesting oh and that was a great blade beam coming out from no mill because that that pk thunder could have eviscerated cloud recovery and throwing that out and you throw out an up smash hello oh i didn't know that it actually worked i didn't think it was fast enough yeah up smash is frame seven i believe so i i was just i was just surprised he did it in between down tilts that was the one thing i'm surprised about and dash attack and uh no milk does not care. Yeah, oh going out God. deep. Nothing to lose. Son, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call smoke. Um, but that was <laughs> that was a pretty explosive uh, three stop coming out from no meal. Yeah, that was just huge. You know, I think what Anagram needs to do there is definitely throw out a lot more Zare. Because obviously when you're fighting against a Swordy, you know, you have to be cautious of the fact that they're throwing out a disjoint constantly. They don't have to have too much risk. And so if you have a disjoint of your own, you should probably throw it out just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think uh, Cloud in general off stage against any projectile character will definitely like die early. So I think going forward, there should definitely be more setups for uh, two frames. Like I think Lucas can like down smash two frame with no issue. Yeah. And yeah, no, Lucas definitely does have the tools to edge guard Cloud pretty efficiently. But the main problem in the matchup is that it's really hard for Lucas to get put Cloud in those situations. And Cloud is just a character that commands so much space with his forward air and back air, and then the juggle abilities with the up tilt and up air, mm -hmm. right? It just it makes it a little bit hard to just rinse and repeat some of these scenarios that Cloud wouldn't strive in. And like uh, that was. Besides that, that, that SD on the second stop, that was pretty, that was pretty brutal. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. we definitely saw a lot of that space be commanded for sure. Mm -hmm. and especially on a stage like Smashville as well. Like a lot of clouds love that stage just because mm -hmm. you can just manage all that space in the corners. Yeah. Huge deal for Cloud. Yeah, but but I do agree that um, that we probably need to see a little bit more Zares coming out from Lucas because that is one of that that is one of the tools that Lucas has at his, his disposal that can help him kind of manage all the aerials that Cloud throws out in neutral. So um we'll see if he uses a little bit more of that in this coming game. Yeah. So nor normally under a dominating fashion, most people would counter pick, but it seems like Anagram being faithful to their character is gonna stick to Lucas. Uh -huh. Um Oh, okay. You broke a shield. Oh my god. Yeah. So that 
I'll tell you right now, if he broke his shield there, Luke the Falls is down. Because Cloud Sports match is actually one of the most absurd matches in the game. Yeah, it has so much knockback to it. I mean, it does have considerable, like, cooldown, but it's completely worth it. It's so strong. Yeah, and no meal just pressing the button does not care. Uh, so, Cloud, so just, just for reference, Cloud's down tilt is minus one field, and he down tilt and immediately did not be so. Clean. All right, good forward to set him off. Oh, they both threw projectiles. The PK Fire and the Blade Beam. Yeah, and uh, already, Anagram off to a much better start. And using a bit more of, more of um, for those projectiles in neutral, we're seeing a lot more PK Fire than we did last game. Yeah, good awareness. Good spacing awareness. Just keeping out uh, down mill. Alright, PK Thunder once again. Nice B reversal PK Fire. Oh, and that back air sent them in the opposite direction. That was probably the worst. That was the worst thing. <laughs> that was the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> oh my god. Typically they get the spike there, but it just not only did it sour spot, but also it sent them the wrong way. Which is probably the worst thing to experience. I don't even think Nomel knew where to DI. I think oh, their yeah. DI was completely thrown off there too. Oh yeah, his, yeah, his DI was in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, he didn't he didn't know what was happening. Um, but yeah, just right now, just the adjustments coming out from Anagram, just by using more PK fire in your shoulders made this matchup look night and day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at the stock deficit, it's three to one. Who all was dominating fashion in the previous game? Like there's definitely some adjustments being made here. Mm. Yeah. Good back air. Yeah, no mill stopping the beating with the back air. Yeah, and great patience coming out from no mill. Um, oh, he, he did not agree. He did not, uh, <laughs> he did not believe in that at all. Yeah, you see like a lot of characters do that. I think even with like Marcina, for example, like they'll do the side B and then they're not confident they'll get all the hits. So they freeze midway. It's a common that, thing. That would have see so think about air dodging into ledge like that against PK Freeze, even though he survived. Um it can put in a bit of extra frames of vulnerability. Hmm. And did not refresh properly and he lost that stock and Anagram with the reverse two stop. After the three stock destruction, he immediately responded. That was great adaptation overall. I think Nomel was trying to get into the swing of things near the end, but Anagram was just really on point with their edge guards. Great PK Thunders. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about when I when I was saying that uh, when using your air dodge earlier, right? You don't have your resources, right? Because all that last stock. Uh, no meal completely used their air dodge early and had no more resource going back to stage when facing the PK Thunder. And in this matchup, you need to keep all your resources, especially when you're getting thrown off stage by Lucas. But we're seeing a battlefield counter pick, and this is definitely one of the Cloud's favorites. Yeah, I'd imagine. I would imagine like a lot of those up air string slash up tilt coverage can uh, make it quite difficult for any character to spout. I always, I always like that conversion. I think it looks sick. The forward air into like the down tilt. So yeah. You swing down and then you bring him back up. I've always found that sick. Yeah, the, yeah, the forward, forward air down tilt is probably one of the safer confirms out of forward air and the most consistent. Mostly because he, okay. <laughs> Forget that last thought. That was really depressing. Mostly because he teched once and then had to tech two more times the PK Thunder and that that move that move being so active is just like probably one of the most disgusting things about that move. Yeah, I think I think Anagram heard me. As soon as I said use PK Thunder, they're just like, yep, that's all we need to do. <laughs> he, he went for a finishing touch, and um, only and, and the only honestly the only reason he missed is because it was the uh, there was the uh, wind box. So mm. and that wind box pushed him away or something. Or? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, he wasn't close enough for it to hit solidly, so the wind box pushed him away. 
and we just casually walked up and cross watched. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good Zare keep out. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more of those. That's good. Yeah, and we're also seeing a lot more walking actually coming out from Anagram. A lot more walking and being way more grounded at a distance. And that's one of the bigger things in this matchup. Staying grounded at a distance against Cloud, because Cloud has a, a bunch of attacks that, that angle himself like back air for like big punishes. So staying grounded in that in that airspeed is um airspace is pretty important. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And speaking of airspace, we're seeing a lot more uh a lot more jumps coming out from Nomo here. As opposed to just staying grounded and going for those dash attacks. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Forward air. Yeah, read that read that platform re retreat with the forward air and being one of Lucas's stronger aerials, stronger and faster aerials, uh definitely a quick attack that you could throw out in a situation like that. And there you see that Zare getting him off off ledge. And getting him a pretty good amount of percent, 42% off the ledge in the disadvantageous position. Yeah, a lot of great percent. We'll see if there's going to be more of those situations coming up. All right, it's going to be the move here. Oh, wow. And Blade Me in that position actually wasn't the worst because it, it is pretty active. And I'm surprised that uh, Anagram didn't get hit by that. But, you know, still, good delay. Yeah, it was a great delay. It just seemed like there were way too many invincibility frames from that let's get up. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's a... <laughs> that was really that was actually really good um limit. There was actually good really good limit management coming out from No Meal. Knowing that he was that close to limit. Yeah, and now uh, uh... Maybe? Are we okay? Maybe back to the action and a connection error occurred. And that is the sad, not, and that is the sad reality for the state of Smash Wi-Fi. Um, you know, sometimes the connections can get a little jumbled. Even even if both uh, players are connected by LAN, um, sometimes the connection types just don't interact the best. So mm -hmm. unfortunate stuff, especially especially last stock in the last stock situation um you really do hate to see it i'm not really sure who disconnected but um oh damn yeah so no meal uh could disconnect it probably by accident unfortunate stuff but that is the state of where we are right now and you know if you're maris you take those yeah, I really wanted to see that conclude. That's kind of unfortunate, you know? We saw a lot of great adaptation from Anagram. You know, it went from a three stock to like game two, two stock. And then mm -hmm. last game was looking good, but unfortunately things are going to be halted for a little bit. Um, we'll see what happens. I I'm, I'm curious to know what they're going to do. Okay, seven to six. I think uh, Maris is just going to take that. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> that is such a BGs. That's, that's, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> that, is, that is a BGs that is really and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, but you know what? You take those, right? You do take those. Um, you know, Maris can't help it. All they could do is take that, take those dubs, and close the gap um, considerably. Now they're only at a one, one stock, one game advantage. Excuse me, one point advantage, and uh, going into the next game. So 